Okay, we're playing Empires of the Undergrowth again. This is episode four. I'm going to continue the story. Our colony is the Durants. So this, we're this is our main base. We've done all we can here. We're going to just jump ahead. So we did the Formicarium challenge. Now this is the beach, and I've tried this like a few times. It's super challenging. So, I'm not sure how to, I'm not sure how to do this, where you can choose, so these, these are both ranged units, this one's slow, but it gains area of effect damage at level 3, and this shoots faster, and at level 3 it slows enemies on hits. Where to go for the mortars, the area of effect seems good. So I don't know this this one is like super difficult. This Formica Rufa Wood Ant Queen has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can while they can. So I need a lot of ants. Uh, a lot of worker ants. So I'll put, actually, I'm going to put them on number five. In the meantime, we'll get these guys on number five as well. Because we'll just get that food. sort of build up like this. I want one here too for the soldiers. Okay, so we want to just max out these guys and put those guys back around the queen. So we got all the food we can there. Now we just dig out this. This will bring us to the beach. Yeah, I probably did dig in that I didn't need to do yet, but... There is food to be found all over the beach. So we're going to do the but close the wood stuff ants first. must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays too close. There's so much food up there we want to get the workers built. And I also need my food storage built. So we can uh, dig out that. So let's go to the surface. Okay, they've gotten that. And then we can go all the way down, down here if we want. It's a long journey, but uh, we need to get all we can. We got 17 going, so that's great. There are other wood ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony with the greater numbers. So this is going to go all the way down the here. The ants will fight to the death. I don't want to un I don't want to accidentally open this up though. Oh, 
But our guys are going down there and they're going to come across other ants and they're going to fight. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Okay, so that's not opened up. That's good. I'm just going to get another nest because it'd be great to have like an Arab effect going as well. So that'll be a good sized nest. Bringing back food. Uh, this shore is going to just, uh, you know, the water is going to rise. I wonder if I messed that up again. Jesus didn't mess those things up. So we'll get that again. Definitely gonna need like the melee soldier. I'm not sure if 30 ants is enough. There's no harm in like this colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. So I'll keep an eye on these guys, I got a whole bunch coming. The ants must fight. Yeah, we're gonna keep running into those guys. But they don't seem to follow back and attack the nest or anything. But it's going to be... This, game, this level is incredibly difficult. I haven't even gotten that far in it and there's all sorts of uh, problems we'll, we'll run into. Okay, so we're going to go for this patch. Takes a while for food to get back. But that this food, once the water rises, it's gone for good, as far as I know. The battle come back. has begun. So they're, they're just fighting again. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Oh, I did the wrong Any one ants again. caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Yes, I missed that up. But I can get... I have enough time, so tide rises in 17 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna let these guys go. Let's see what happens. Is it immediately after that? Okay, so we lost just one guy. And our food stocks are too full. Gonna quickly upgrade these. Okay, so that's going well. We're gonna need several of those at least. And then we're going to have to go here. So these beetles will just devour our guys. So maybe we'll go up here first. Oh, we got one piece. That's good. I mean, it might be better just to come down here, actually. The battle has begun. I'm going to try again a few of these guys as well. Oh, there's 60. The is water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. Okay, so we'll get all this stuff. Uh, that's all we're going to get there. So let's send them right over here now. So we got a fair bit of food there. It's like little, like, shrimps or some type of stuff. Yeah, so as soon as those are not my guys, those guys died. That's a competing colony. So we'll want to like come down here. So that's pretty much. I guess there's some there. Oh, that beetle died. So actually, I'm going to cancel it and come back there. The ants must defend themselves. So that's probably not worth it. This is very risky. 
I'm thinking we'll go up there. Uh, well, let's just do it. Go, down, go here, we're already nearby. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Just gonna quickly come here, get that, and run. Ah, oh, those guys are gonna die. So the next spot will be up here. And let's focus on the nest. Melee guys, there's a ranged. And the melee guys, we're just gonna. We're gonna bring everyone down here now. Oh, not those guys. That's. The tide is in, what? and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal try creatures one more time begin to, get those. to awaken. It would be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Yeah, we might be able to get this. If we can get all that food. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, we opened up the bottom area. That's why there's intruders. Okay, we're gonna stop that now. Bring our guys back. Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and carrion on the beach. But due okay. to the unusual incursion of Formica Rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. So we know what's coming. So... We're gonna... A hermit crab has found its way into the nest. The ants must mount a swift and decisive defense. Our range will go back here. And we're gonna need some more... Soldiers. Okay, he's almost dead. So let's see how much food we get from him. Yeah, these ranged are really awesome. So like, he'll take a break and regenerate in his shell. But now he's food. It's rat 210. They'll have to eat away at him, get him with that shell. Oh, so they're taking little pieces, it looks like. So we'll get that food. So we didn't get a whole lot of food from that guy. So... I'll get one more of the soldiers. And I really like, uh... These mortar guys. So we only have four. Let's get two more. I'll keep them back there. Because it's nighttime out there, and oh, look at these guys. And look where they're headed. <laughs> so we're going to have to. Guard the entrance here. And those guys are done there. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, these guys are cool. They're in animations. So I think it's worth getting a few more going. Or just two. So our guys are going to die and need more food, but I think with the ranged, we're doing a great job. And there's It's damaging two at the same time. Yeah, like, really doing much better. There's some food for us. Hopefully we can get it before we get... Ooh, wow, that's... I don't see any more coming.
This guy we got eight ranged, ten melee, twenty-nine workers. So I don't know if it's a good idea to like there's that could be so challenging. But I will at least get this started. If we don't unlock anything. I mean, let anything out. So, oh man, these guys are coming straight for us. Three hundred is not bad. For food. I mean, I might just get two more of these. More hermit crabs have found the nest. So let's just try with my workers, because see if we swarm them, what happens? Because it does say in the tips you should swarm these guys. So maybe I should have done that. Yeah. So when someone inv invades, you know, everyone's going to uh, defend the nest. Yeah, that's much faster. Is there still another one there? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And I'm thinking I could also unlock that. Any beetles there would take a while to to come down. There are intruders in the nest. And I'm going to bring my range right there. I'll have my workers be like front line. Because I think the I need my soldiers up front. But the ranged are so good. So where are they? Okay, here they come. Okay, so that's good. And I'll get the ranged back here. My workers can get all this food. I gotta keep upgrading stockpiles. So is it? How are they gonna keep getting invaded? I wonder if they'll just walk the over. The tide is receding, and a new day dawns. Oh, so we get more food. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows, and the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. So we're gonna go... That looks pretty good right there. I mean, that looks pretty awesome too, but... Some predators. So for this... This level, I feel like I need... Just a ton of... Workers. Just gonna slowly kind of build more of those. The ants will fight to the death. I mean, it'd be a good idea to go after those beetles eventually, too. So I've got all hands on deck, and we'll just get food as quickly as we can. now. 
Okay, so... I mean, is it worth going down to the... there? I don't know. I think we've kind of lost time already. We're going too far down. But we could go there. Might be a good idea to get some roads going too. in here. So let's actually bring in the big boys. There's a lot up here too. Because who knows what the next invasion is going to be like. I do love having all these workers that done. I'm not sure what the upgrades would be. I imagine that they move faster. Oh, I can mine that. Okay, there's still some food up there. I'm gonna go up here next. Plenty of room for expansion. So we have 17. I think I will go for 20. It's a good round number. Because we're doing so much food harvesting and we will be coming up against like those beetles and stuff. We'll, de we'll definitely need numbers. We can just surround them. It's probably like down here I want to go for next. So we're just going to take these guys out. There's a little food there, but it's not worth it anymore. I don't want to get this before the tide comes in. Yes, we got a nice road going. There's a spot there we can do. So let's see what these guys are doing. We gotta watch some of these battles. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that little shrimp there, whatever. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, they're not gonna stand a chance, these guys. It's just more food for us. Oh yeah, they're gonna eat it too. Yeah, we're just gonna actually... We're gonna destroy these guys. Let's get some more ants going. I would love to start upgrading these guys too. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. 
Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. Yeah, that's right. We don't get the area of effect bonus until we get level 3 for these guys, so... I'll focus on upgrading these guys. So we're just gonna go here now. And these guys are going to be more food. Why are my guys down there? Oh man, that'd be really bad if I lost those guys. But yeah, they're safe. It was just the main level that's gone. Oh, he's... okay. He's safe. <laughs> Is this one even bigger? That, oh, that's even bigger. Yeah, we can hopefully take this guy. Get rid of the little guys first. I'm going to have to come back here and upgrade. The water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. So it's just this level that's going to go up next. Here we go. It's the big guy. Oh, well, we got the him. The huge tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. We're gonna stay in the safe areas now. Yeah, I guess I'll just upgrade these guys. Get so much food. Let's check this out. Okay. Okay, there's this. Chewing our guys up. It's not gonna last too long though. That's my guys random. Okay, there we go. What's down here? The tide has almost reached its highest point. So the sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. Okay. So this will be level 3 now. We have 19. some space for a few more. I'd like to have the roads kind of go right in. Okay, are they actually trying to get this guy? There is another creature roaming the sands tonight. Arctosa littoralis, the beach wolf spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. But once the sun is gone, they are far more active. Okay, I'm gonna the let them go back for now. A midnight feast. So where are the spiders? I see the hermit crabs coming, so let's go into the base. Get our defenses set up. Wow, they're just swarming now. Yeah, we gotta get him out of food just to uh, survive. A wolf spider has found the nest entrance. She is only small, but her venom oh, will right quickly there. incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone. Okay. So where did how, that, how did that sneak in? Let me see if it says, as well as being fast, upon entering your nest, the wolf spider will head for your nurseries and then for your, to your queen. Defending your queen during these attacks could save your colony. So, I didn't even see the wolf spider come in. But now she's surrounded by 
you know, 52 of these guys. I can't imagine a hermit crab trying to come in here. Oh, we just have to survive two nights. So this is the second night. Yeah, once you get going with your colony, man, like... Things start to still things start to feel so much easier. Now I'm like, yeah, come on, come come invade the colony. I'm, I'm ready. But this game likes to up the difficulty. It's like when you think you're ready sometimes and you're not. I thought Wolf Spider gave us some food. You want to be careful, like, a, if somehow a wolf spider can sneak in. So I'm keeping my queen protected. Yeah, it looks like nothing's going to uh, come in the nest yet. Oh, there. Another wolf There's spider right has entered the nest. This one is large, fast, and voracious. Okay. So, they just... They move so fast. That you just barely even see it. It's like a blur. So, we get all hands on deck with that. Because he's chewing away at everything. Oh, he's barely even touched. Okay, now it's... Okay. Yeah, I see wolf spiders all the time around the when you're around the lake or something. They do they do move incredibly fast. And they're so camouflaged when they just hide in the stones. So yeah, I You could easily lose this game if you didn't have so many ants around your queen. Yeah, I actually think it's worth uh, just having a little bit of an army right here for the melee guys, and they're just going to protect, protect the queen. It's going to keep them right there so they're always around her. That's how you make separate groups. I wonder if I can just like combine two different sets of brood and tiles because uh, the range is probably good too for protecting her. Oh, there's a couple of them More now. wolf spiders have found the nest. There's one down there. There's two up here. One looks bigger than the other too. Oh, there's some down here. Wow. Oh, I better protect... Uh... Yeah, there's a couple in there. But I want to keep my... Queen protected. Yeah, they're difficult to see those spiders. So did these nests actually get built? Oh yeah, they did. So you can combine them.
Yeah, we're just in high alert mode. Because we can't really stop those spiders from coming in. And they go directly for the queen. So I think the range should be good. Wow, this is a long night. Yeah, this level is really fun. I think there's like amphibians and stuff, maybe some frogs we can fight or toads. Or I think I saw a lizard one screenshot, so I'm really excited for that. Like taking down some like uh, reptiles and stuff. But I can see them adding in. Oh, it looks like everything's receding now. As the sun rises over a new day, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again, the harvest must continue. So is it? I thought this was the second night. Or maybe it's survived like three nights. It doesn't seem worth it to go like right to the bottom. And I guess my uh, nest is pretty safe. I'm not sure. Maybe those spires will still come around. I'm thinking I'll just put some more soldiers back here. The ants must defend themselves. even further up there. But I guess we'll just come down there and then come up to here. There's some beetle, beetle steaks. Got 11 guys and seven workers protecting the queen. It's just slim pickings when you look down here. Oh, wow, that's done already. Let's go for the tough stuff. This is going to be a long episode. I don't want to break it in two. I want to keep the levels just one episode. But please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it so much. So my guys are almost done that. I mean, they just get the food so quickly. So we're actually going to go... We'll get rid of this guy. Oh, I didn't put my workers there. Sometimes I do, but then I accidentally cancel it.
Yeah, so some of these videos might be short if it's a quick mission. But this one could be could be close to an hour. Some more beetle steaks. Yeah, I was gonna swarm this guy. I'm gonna take a photo of this one. Okay. So I'll let them uh, butcher this guy up. Get all the good quality meats from it. I guess I could come like all the way up here. And they'll just bring the food back as they see it. So yeah, we're getting stocked up, so let's upgrade our soldiers. Yeah, because who knows there might be like a another boss at the end too. Got level three. Got two of them. Three of them. Yes, we actually got like most of the food. And the tide isn't even uh, coming up yet. Got so many workers. So I might just uh, put a pause in here until something happens so the video isn't too long. Okay, so we made it to nighttime and nothing happened. You know, I hunted down some beetles, got most of the food, and then some wolf spiders came in. They went straight to the queen. It was it's a large one too, but I have all my guys just hanging around the queen, and it was okay. Yeah, I did some more upgrading of things, but it wasn't much happening until nighttime fell. And then as soon as nighttime fell, it was like a minute in, and wolf spiders came in. It's a ton of hermit calves. You can see, I didn't realize like. There's various sizes to it, just like I guess all the beetles and even the spiders. So you think it might be easy until you see a a more mature version. Like a fully grown adult. So I'll just put another pause until something interesting happens. Okay, some hermit crabs just came in. So, let's get our guys positioned. And, uh, like that one's quite large. So I have to make sure there's no, like, spiders coming in here, too. Yeah, that ranged attack is. I got a bunch of level threes, so it's doing an uh, area of effect as well. You can see it's just, you know, melting them away. So, so I will put my main workers protecting the queen again. So I can't really upgrade any more of these. I could upgrade the ones that are guarding the queen, though. So, put another pause into the video. And her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. 
It's a huge mother. Wolf spider. See, they come in so fast, I couldn't unpause the video quick enough. But we dealt with her so quickly. So, I'm not sure... So it's down here. Okay, her brood came in. She's so like tiny little wolf spiders. I'm just worried about the queen, because th they'll go for the queen straight away sometimes. So I'm not seeing any alerts. So I think we uh, survived that one. I'm gonna just jump forward the video again. The local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. Yeah, the last night was so easy. It, it was kind of boring, so I had to just pause recording, let it play a bit. And then after that mother, that spot, wolf spider attacked, it was just nothing really happened. And Till the night was over so thank you so much for watching guys i'm going to end it here sorry for the long video every level will be a video so some of them i guess are going to be a lot longer than others but yeah how so is the colony progressing the queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors well let's I stay here for the a second colony is beginning to adapt Okay, so I'm going to cut it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Join our Discord. Links in the description. And we'll see you on the next episode.